Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, Jay Crow Productions here. Jay again. Uh, today I wanted to start a pretty interesting tutorial. This is actually a program that should be familiar to most K-Series owners, people who have K-Series swapped Civics, Integras, you know, you name it, RSX, Civic. This is called Hondata's K-Manager. It is a tuning software for the Honda K Pro, and it is also used to tune the K Pros in the S two thousands and TSXs as well. They're, they've been released recently, so that's a pretty big jump in the tuning game. So what I want to do is I want to do step by step. I'll show you guys starting with uh, how to load calibrations on uh, all the way to how to tune your air fuel. I'm gonna go over the basics and also a little bit more in detail about technical stuff like making adjustments to maps and whatnot so I'll be doing this in, in um in steps so it'll be like a couple of different videos but hopefully it'll give you an idea of how to use this software and what goes on and what's a company to it so it's, it can be scary at first if you're not familiar with computers and whatnot but uh, it's a great program and it's really user friendly especially somebody who has ever used any other type of software maybe a DSM link or AM for example AM I know personally is a very very complicated program it's not a plug and play just load a map and go like you need to do a lot more than that but with this they use the stock Honda ECU it really is a plug and play situation as far as this goes so what I'll do is I'll start off by showing you how to load a new calibration what you do is you go where I went you click new calibration on the left hand corner up top there and then what you do is you choose what what according to what ECU you have so you, you click here it'll bring you a drop down list you'll see all the different ECUs available choose the one you have in my case I have a PRB so I'll click PRB and now I'm given a choice of uh, what map to start off with it's a bunch of base maps that Honda Data supplies you've got everything from turbocharged setups to uh, just basic cold air intake setups all the way to ITBs uh, so yeah you just choose according to what fits your car closest so in my instance I have a 2005 RSX with just a cold air intake so I would choose the 2005 K20Z RSX with cold air intake. And it's nice because they give you, they actually give you a nice little description of what parts are on the car and fuel pressure and things like that. So it's really neat. So I would click on that and I'd open it up. Now, you don't see anything on the screen yet. What you do is you click on these little tabs up here and it'll bring everything up that you want to see as far as tuning the car goes. So, as you see, this is a big mess. So what I usually do is I'll take one box and I'll maximize it. And then this is pretty much what you're going to go in between as far as using this program. It's basically these tabs here and also these tabs here. These are your main main functions, All everything you see up here. You're not really going to use this stuff up here too much unless you're like edit looking to change stuff within the software itself. But up here, this is basically what you're going to use when you're tuning your car. So what I'll do is I'll take a look at the map itself. Tables shows you the actual 3D map. This is your actual map right here in 3D. You can go ahead and change it if you like. This is uh, for more in-depth look as far as points and, and curves goes but I just leave it in 3D mode, it doesn't really bother me much. Over here, you've got your high cam and low cam adjustments. This is basically where adjustments are made, this box right here. As you can see on this column here, you've got your RPMs. This going to the right horizontally is your vacuum manifold pressure. Since this is a NA map, naturally aspirated, there are no boost columns. So it just goes from 1 to 10, from negative 25 pounds per square inch, all the way to 0, which is atmospheric pressure, which would be yeah, 0. So this is low cam. Number one is low cam ignition. This is high cam ignition. This is low cam fuel. 
high cam fuel adjustments and then you have low low cam cam angles and you have high cam cam angles and then over here a lot of people don't tend to see this at first you have your 0 to 50 degrees of VTC movement for every map you tune you have to do one for each one of these which can be tedious that's why the K series motors can be quite tedious because you have to do it one for each each VTC movement which is 10 degree all the way it's it's six different sectors so it's from zero all the way to 50 degrees which is fully advanced and then zero is fully retarded I know that sounds funny but that's that's how you call it it's, it's at full retard so that's basically loading a new map you know pretty simple as far as that goes so I'll uh, in part two I'll show you guys how to make adjustments to basic parameters and also dial in your car any further from uploading the base map to get it to as close as your car is in standing mode all right so that's that's it for now all right so next session we'll talk more